Hey adventurers, bienvenidos and welcome to Costa Rica. Costa Rica is one of the most biodiverse places on the earth. It has over 500,000 different species. I mean, even just looking at frogs, they have over 100 species of frogs and it is incredible. So today we are gonna go on a little bit of a nature walk and find some of those amazing creatures. We'll probably focus on mammals and frogs and other amphibians. Maybe we'll see a snake, who knows? But we're gonna give you just a little bit of sample, a little tiny sampling of what Costa Rica can offer. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Here we go. Costa Rica is home to over 900 different species of birds. That's around 10% of all the birds in the world. Some of them are so colorful like this mot mot or the scarlet macaw. Others are big like the great curacao. And they're wandering all over this property which is really cool too. So let's take a step and look a little bit closer at some of the birds that you might see if you come to Costa Rica. I know a few of you might want to see a toucan or two. Here's one. This is a yellow-throated toucan. This is the largest of the six toucans that you can see in Costa Rica, but it's not the only large bird around here. Crested caracaras, common blackhawks, and other raptors can be a really common sight. Not to mention there's a number of owls you can see too. You may see some crazy nests like these from the Odependula, or you might see some of the smallest birds, the hummingbirds. But be sure to keep your eye out for one of the most beautiful birds that they have out here, the resplendent Quetzal. It doesn't matter where you are or how the weather is, there's probably some pretty cool birds for you to see. But let's put our binoculars down for a second and take a look at something a little bit closer. Let me just take the camera here. All right, are you ready for this? Look at that. This is a green basilisk. Now the basilisk lizards are also called the Jesus Christ lizards and they get that name because they run across water. They can run really, really fast and they can actually make like fairly good distance running across like a lake or a stream or a creek or something. Now this is a full grown adult for the green basilisk and so he can't really run as much across, across water as some of the, uh, the juveniles can. But they're very good swimmers as well, so if he feels threatened, he'll jump into the water and, uh, and hide from a big predator. But it is great to see such a large lizard uh, right up close. Let's see how close he'll let me get to him. Just look at that. I love those white little spots on the side. And that turquoise light blue on the throat. Really pretty lizard. Well. I guess that is as close as I can get. He is taken off into the bush, but really neat. Like I said, 200, over 200 different species of reptiles. So let's take a closer look at some of the ones that are more common out here. Costa Rica's reptile variety is dominated by snakes. Be sure to look in all directions, like up in the trees to see these yellow blunt-headed tree snakes, or maybe this cloudy snail eater, or these cat-eyed snakes that we would often see around frogs. During the day, you might come upon a giant chicken snake or maybe something you've never seen before, like this brown spot belly that I had identified afterwards. We just spotted this tiny little snake. Uh, our guide Dennis knows that it's not venomous, even though it is biting. Uh -oh. um, you can see the belly is has a, some dots on the outside, but it's mostly sort of plain in color. The back has some faint stripes on it. And the head has like a little dot at the beginning of the, of the thing. So Now this is really cool. We had that big green basilisk just moments ago, but right here is where they start from. This is a very, very young one. And you can see he's mostly brown in color, but still has some of those green sort of colors to him. Oh. Let's focus again, make sure, hopefully he doesn't run away on us. Yeah, you can see his greens coming through, but he's definitely much more brown. Now, this video wouldn't be complete if we didn't talk about 
one of the most iconic animals that Costa Rica has, and that's their mammals. Over 200 species of mammals in Costa Rica, and that includes things like the sloths and the monkeys, things that a lot of people from around the world are coming to see. We could see white-faced capuchin monkeys, we could see red-mantled howler monkeys, we could see the three-toed toss, the two-toed toss. It is just such a rich country for these mammals. In fact, look, I think I see one up here. Let's go take a look. It seemed like everywhere we went, we would run into monkeys. These white-faced capuchin monkeys were the most common, and they were a little mischievous too. But keep your eyes out for other monkeys like the howler monkeys, or my favorites, the squirrel monkeys. Now, it wasn't just monkeys hanging out in the trees. We also saw a number of sloths, the three-toed sloth being the most common, and a number of bats. These tent-making bats were particularly interesting as they pinch the leaves to make a little shelter. Sometimes we'd be visited by huge gangs of white-nosed quaddies. They were pretty cool, and, and these ones were quite itchy. When the sun comes down, that's no reason to stop looking for wildlife. You may even find a kinkajou like this one up in the trees. Here are some of our other finds, too. Check it out. Look at that. We've got a nine-banded armadillo here. There he goes at the trail. These guys are kind of hard to, to see out here. All right, folks, we're doing well on mammals tonight. There's an opossum uh, climbing up there. I believe uh, that these are also the uh, Virginia opossum, same ones that we have throughout the United States. And now it's time for my favorite part of Costa Rica, and that is the frogs. I just love all those different calls that they make and how loud it can be when there are frogs that are mating around you. But in order for us to hear this, we're going to have to wait till dark. Just listen to that sound. It is amazing. There's so many different types of frogs here. Here. Oh, that one's fun. Look at this frog right here. Let's, we're going to try to catch it. This is a mahogany tree frog, also known as the swamp tree frog. And they are all sort of yellow in color. Um, and one of the cool things is they have this red underneath the concealing parts of their legs. So if he doesn't jump away, we are going to take a close look at him. So check that red color out underneath. Really, really cool. And just such vibrant yellow. He's being a great little partner here. And again, if you ever handle uh, amphibians, make sure that your hands are wet before you do it. Uh, luckily for us, it's raining, so our whole bodies are kind of wet. But just gorgeous to see all that red coloration. Oh! <laughs> well, he just jumped into the river, uh, and it's exciting to see. But like, you got a close-up look. Uh, again, that's the mahogany tree frog, but let's talk about some of the other sounds that we're hearing. So a lot of those um, burp, burp sounds, that is that mahogany tree frog calling. There are more sort of squealish sounds, uh, more like a pig squealing. That is a yellow tree frog, and there's actually one over here. Um, if we come in and take a closer look. It was right here. Ah, I see it over here. So if we look here and we zoom in a bit, right there we have a yellow tree frog. We'll get a close up on it too. But they make these sort of squealy sounds that we're hearing from out there. Now, of course, we have a ton of frogs that are in these steamy waters here. These are all geothermal streams and so you can see all the steam coming up to this bright right there that first one here that is a valent frog uh they're part of the lithobates genus the same frogs that we often see uh in north america similar to our green frog and our bullfrog and if we if we turn uh actually let's look right here is one of the very exciting frogs that huge frog over there is a smoky jungle frog. Now they create a lot of foam when they mate and they, they have little burrows that they usually live nearby. So we've actually seen this guy a couple times and I'm sure he has a bur burrow that's no more than like a foot or two away. 
Um, so really, really cool. But just, I love how noisy it is here and how many different species that we can find. Um, we're going to have to pay even closer attention and see if we can get another species for you up close. Oh, wait a second. I think Tatiana has one for us. Uh, where did that iguana go? Well, she's in there. We see it. Oh, yes, I see it. Let's zoom in a little bit. That is our mahogany tree frog again from a distance. Great. Awesome. Very and cool. We have a sleeping. It's kind of hidden. If we move this right there. Excellent. Oh, so much better. Look at that. All green with striping on the tail. That's how we know it's an iguana and not one of the green basilisks that we also see in the area. All right, check out this little... Oh! He hopped over there, but this is a Mexican tree frog, or Mexican um, uh, skimmilla. Uh, they're very similar looking to our mass tree frogs. I actually think they're in the same genus. Uh, but they don't have as much black on the face, and they have a little bit of green below the eye. Hopefully we'll, we'll have a picture and we'll show you it later. But I'm going to keep on walking. Oh, what an excellent surprise. Tatiana just found a couple more frogs for us. Where? Oh. There's the third one. And then these are the two little ones. Okay. Well, we're going to... Tatiana's going to show us what she found here. Right here. Oh, really, really neat. Look at that. This is a much better look. Oh, actually, this is a new one for tonight. This Sorry. is an hourglass tree frog or a harlequin tree frog. Um, they have these dark markings on the back there that look kind of like hourglasses, and that's where they get uh, that common name. And, and somewhere there's a second one. Oh, I see it up here. Look at that. How lovely. Now, she also found up there another mahogany tree frog. We had a close-up of those earlier. Very cool to see another one. And then oh, right along the edge of the pond here, we have three little frogs. Now I'm gonna switch places with Tatiana okay. so I can get closer. And these are tiny little, they're not that tiny, but they're, we've seen bigger ones. These are masked tree frogs. Um, and you can tell because they have a bit of a mass of the eye. Um, now, the Mexican tree frogs look very similar, but if they have a black mask, they don't have such extensive green in front of the snout. And you can see that a lot of these guys, they have kind of like a green mustache as well. Um, and this guy looks like he's been calling, his vocal stacks puffed up a bit. I'm sure he'll be calling a bit more in the night. Oh, where do those frogs go? I think they must have jumped in the water as we walk by. So I'm gonna go the other way so I don't disturb another frog. But very, very cool to find this other pond and to see another uh, three species. Ow, oh, actually, before we take off, look at this, this one here. Oh, ah, there he is. You can really see that dark marking, that hourglass marking on its back. It's much more prominent in that one. So very, very cool. That's the Hourglass tree frog, also known as the harlequin tree frog. And there, is that another one? Or is that one of our ones from before? Oh, this one, it's, a, it's another individual, another harlequin, but you can see it's even more pronounced, uh, that hourglass marking on the back. So very cool. Tatiana, there's Tatiana. Thank you for finding all these frogs for us. All right, into the night we go. I'm Greg Schechter. And I'm Tatiana Chicho Schechter. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you in the, the field. field.